I uh, just set up the head in the mill to machine the seats for the double valve springs and uh, yeah having scratched my head how I was, how I was going to uh, get the angles right uh, it's a compound angle um, got about nine and a half on a nod and I can't tell you on the other scale oh, actually something up there um, I've got uh, looks like four degrees so the way I did it is I Set a valve in the set a new valve in. Mounted the dial gauge onto the spindle and just spun it and just kept going, just doing the uh, axis 180 degrees apart until I got them to match and then I uh, did the x-axis and uh, yeah got it within two thou. So then I just cut the head off one of the old valves and mounted that up in, uh, in the collet holder and yep, straight through, bingo. And the spacing between all the valves is about, is, sorry, is 4.38 inches between valves. Okay, I've just cut this seat, so it did look like that. It's now flat for the double valve springs to sit on. Uh, I've only taken it down to that surface. What I'll do now is take the head out of here. I've put a couple of fences up so the head can go straight back where it was. It's, I've trammed it in off this face. And so yeah, what I'll do now is put the valves in the individual in their, in their place. So need lunch, my brain's not thinking. Uh, yeah, so I'll put the valves in, I'll measure the spring height, spring height measuring gauge, and I'll calculate how much I need to cut out of the seats to give me the correct seat pressure for each, uh, for each spring seat. The in-store height of the spring is recommended at 1.9 inches uh, with 110 pound of seat pressure. I've okay, I just did a quick measurement. And the new valves that I've got are actually too long. I'm going to have to shim up the, the valve seats, oh, sorry, the spring seats. Uh, so what I, this first cut came in at uh, 1.91 and I need oh, 1.87 to get the right seat pressure. The spec's saying 1.91, oh, sorry, 1.9, and I've got 1.91 so I'm 10 thou over there anyway so what I'm going to do is just go through and cut them all at that same depth I've still got the the uh, quill stop at the same point uh, so at least then they're all the same I'm going to just put the same shin on all of them and uh, go from there I'll shoot some footage of it cutting uh, cutting quite well Alright, that's it. It's stopped up on the full stop. So yeah, that looks good. Okay, well, I've cut all the spring seats on the second head, and I've also cut the guides to suit the new Teflon uh, valve, gu uh, valve guide seals. So. All inlets are done, 
Uh, I've just got to cut the valve guide seal stem on the other head now, uh, and then I can move on to the exhaust. Uh, this cutter has a couple of cutting or surfaces in it that actually cuts the top of the valve guide, trims it up, and also does the outside of it. Uh, just moving into position, so that's 4.148, so we want 4.38. Close. Off. One, but I'll just move over and cut it anyway just to make sure it's at the same height. That's what I did by hand just to see how it would work. You could do these guides, guide seals with a hand drill, no problem, but uh, not, not the spring seats, not a hope. Alright, that's it. I'm just going to move on to the uh, exhaust valves. All right, well, all the valves, spring seats are cut, and also the guide to suit the new stem seal. So yeah, they're, they're all done. Uh, all I'm going to do now is measure the installed height for the spring, and to make sure I've ordered the right, I've ordered the right shim so I can assemble it.